Welcome back once again, guys. Uh, if you are new, then look in the description below for a link to my uh, Turn G Evolution playlist with many other videos. So far, we have bound the receiver, we wired it to our flight controllers, set it up in beta flight. Now it's time to get telemetry or voltage in the telemetry working. Your receiver should have come with a two wire JST connector like this, and this is going to plug into the BDET pins. Uh, take note that positive is on top, negative is on the bottom. Or I should say positive on the right, negative on the left. But where does the other end of this cable go? Well, for your receiver to know what the full voltage of your battery is, it has to be able to see the full voltage of your battery. Because right now, with just this power and ground wire, it's only seeing 5 volts. So you will just take these two wires and place them anywhere on your uh, power distribution board where it's getting the full voltage of the batteries. Uh, you can place this on the same pads that your ESC wires go to. You can even uh, solder these wires directly onto your uh, main battery leads. Pretty much anywhere. The only place you would not want to place these two wires is on a voltage regulator. Uh, for example, I have a 5 volt regulator here and a 12 volt regulator here. If you wire these into those, then you will only see 5 volts or 12 volts in your telemetry. So I've already got my two wires soldered into my PDB where it will get the full voltage of the battery. And now we can just plug this into the receiver. And it will look something like this. I also have a couple more wires running from my PDB, which is just going to my fly controller to be able to power my fly controller, which will also power the receiver. And yes, you do have to keep the original power and ground wire that we used to wire the receiver into the fly controller because the uh, these two wires that we're adding in that will not power the receiver. That is only that is on a separate circuit. It is only there to let the receiver know what the voltage of the battery is, but it will not power the receiver. You still have to keep these wires. So that is why I have everything set up like this. So now I am going to take my lipo battery and plug it in. I'm now getting power to my flight controller which is also powering my receiver and we can't see uh, it working but these two wires are now letting the receiver know what the full voltage is. Now let's power on our transmitter and click this icon up here. This right here is just letting you know what the voltage of your transmitter battery is but we want to scroll down and we're looking for this so uh, right now we're not set up to how we need to be uh, just press on this little X and now it should come up with an option to choose what cell battery you are using I'm using a 4 cell battery so I will choose 4S and it has automatically set up uh, the maximum voltage of the battery which for cell, 4 cell battery is 16.8 volts and it's also set up my low voltage alarms. If you want to adjust these uh, that's perfectly fine. I would recommend adjusting the low voltage first because if you try to lower uh, this one it's only going to let you go down so far. Yeah it stops right there. That's because it's not letting us go past the low voltage alarm. You can set this to whatever you want um, personally, what I like is 13.8, and that's for the low voltage alarm. Then for the one just above that, I will do uh, about 14.4. Now you may want to play around with this, I'm not saying these settings are perfect because as you're flying uh, your LiPo batteries do get voltage sag when you uh, go 100% throttle and you give it a lot of power the voltage, is, the voltage will sag and uh, it will temporarily go really low. It's probably going to go below 14.4 volts and it's going to give you that alarm and you may think that your battery is low but really it's not, you're just doing a full throttle punch out and uh, the, it's just going to dip down for a second. Unfortunately this doesn't have a delay like the Tyrannus does but uh, I mean at least you get voltage in your telemetry so it's better than nothing. If you want to test this out to make sure it's working let's just see what the voltage of my battery is 
and it's at 15.1 volts. So if I were to set this at 15, well anything over 15.1, then it's going to think that the voltage of our battery is low and go into this uh, warning state. Your gimbal should flash red and the screen is going to flash on and off. So I'll just set that back and we are good to go. That does it for this video guys. If you enjoyed this give me a like, look in the description below for other helpful videos and I will see you again soon.